I've always worked with uh, combining images. I've always worked with combining, especially unlikely things, and putting and putting them together, finding a way, finding a way to make them work. You know, trying to in, you know integrate integrate things, take fragments and make them into something cohesive. So it's a very a strong drive, <laughs> and uh, it, it seems to be necessary for my uh, mental health and what makes me happy. And these sketchbooks have been extremely satisfying. You know, they, they just have been uh, like a way to just, just work, just work kind of in, in some kind of semi-conscious flow. In my own mind, there, there are all these different categories. Cartoons, cartoons are a big thing. I use a lot of uh, anatomical kinds of pieces, stuff from artwork from the, the artists that I used to study when I was in art school, whom, when I was a painter. And then things with words, things with words. Like, there are phrases in, in these, well, this is from a, a, an old children's book, like here, like, <laughs> uh, don't just, don't stand here and talk, or uh, if you want to live here, or you would better think about that. You know, these phrases, they could make their way into a collage in some kind of weird associative way. The first collage sketchbooks I did were, were this size. They were small books this size. And in recent years, these are the ones I've been using. Some of them are years old and some of them are from the last year. But they're, but they're all in process. Like when I, when I sit down to work, you know, I might just have, I might have something open from the last time I was working. And then, you know, I just might sit and, and sort of look at, look at a page and not have any bright ideas and go on to the next one and not have any bright ideas and that could go on for a while. Um, and in, in recent years, they've, they've started, they've started with just like a leftover paint from the palette. Like I've just used up whatever I had left and just made a, a bunch of marks, you know, a bunch of splashes. I don't like I'm, I'm not the kind of collage artist you know who, who like cuts very carefully around everything even though I'm, I'm actually quite precise in my messy way but but everything I t I, everything for me is, is torn things have to be torn and the, the torn edge is a really important part of the process so the 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 tearing is, a, is like a kind of a drawing process And then the materials, the acrylic, the colored pencils, crepas, and acrylic medium, really important. And sandpaper, sandpaper is a really major tool. Sandpaper, critical. These are not autobiographical in, a, in an exactly narrative sense. They're more, more in a feeling sense, or um, some of them are just working out like anxieties or memories or whatever just different phases of <laughs> development, life, anxieties about, um, you know, my parents' separation or my mother's drinking or things like that. But they're, <laughs> they're, they're funny. I mean, they're funny, like, like <laughs> a demon, a real live demon, you know. So there, there are demons in these things, right? Demons, family relationships, empty frames. 
you know, I work on a page, and then while it's drying, I work on another page. So normally, that's that's what I do. I'm constant. It's, everything's in constant flux, and, and so I mostly work on them. Almost, almost exclusively, I work on them at night, like later in the evening, when I'm I'm often a little tired, which is a good time to tap into the unconscious. There's something about the flow of images that I imagine is is something the similar kind of satisfaction that poets get. There's a certain kind of drive to combine things, getting you know much delving below the rational mind, and seeing seeing that there's another kind of sense, and that that comes up in yoga all the time. I mean, you you start to work on another level of consciousness. This is at the end of the process where uh, I've, the, the palette is turned into a mushmash, and then I just take whatever pieces of paper I have around and just put them down on the palette. Then I rinse the palette and then I go to bed. 